Hello everyone. Um, it's 1 30 in the morning and I'm up and I'm a little frustrated and really this video is being made um, due to my conflicting um, going back and forth with uh, Crowdstar. So let me just explain to you who Crowdstar is. Crowdstar is an app game that controls design home and uh, covet fashion. And if you've been a game player of either one of those games, um, you're going to find out real fast that the legitimacy of how they handle their business is sketchy at best. So I've been going back and forth with them for some time. It's had to be at least three or four days now. Um, I was on Design Home and I've been playing this game for almost two years. I have receipts of spending almost uh, $300 to $400 um, over a period of time. Not all at once, but over a period of time, you buy diamonds, $5, $6, $10 here and there. It adds up eventually. Um, recently, um, about it started about five days ago when I you know, opened up my app to play my game and check my status on the last competitions I had. Uh, went into and discovered that my entire game was gone. Um, you're talking about reaching to a level. I was on level 15. It takes a lot of time to get to these levels, and it's quite difficult. You just cannot just go straight from level 1 to level 15. Um, it takes progress, time, competitions. So, And then also to build up their inventory, which my inventory was worth well over $3.5 million dollars, it took time, almost two years. So to go into my app and then play my game and then to see that I've been knocked down to level one, didn't even recognize me. Now, understand I have gone through other things, issues with different apps and reached out to Google Play and their customer service is pretty good about getting back to you. But this app in particular, Dealing with Crowdstar, that's C-R-O-W-S-T-A-R. Crowdstar is a little bit more difficult. It's like Google washes their hands of them. Google Play and says, uh, well, you know, you have to reach out to the developer and we don't have anything to do with that. Which already made me feel a little bit shady about that anyway. Because I had never dealt with Google Play before when I had an issue with other games who also had independent developers and they still were able to assist me and help me but Crowdstar in particular is pretty much like a hands-off to Google Play so I have many different conversations with them um, the next video I'm going to put up about Google Play and my conversations with them dealing with Crowdstar also my uh, going back and forth dealing with Crowdstar themselves um, I'm going to post that in my next video. I'm going to take pictures of everything and put them up here for you to see this entire conversation unfold with them. First of all, if anyone's been dealing with Design Home or Covet Fashion and has been dealing with Crowdstar with issues with their game, I've noticed in a lot of the reviews, a lot of people have stated that it's almost impossible to talk to Crowdstar. Well, let me tell you why. Even though Google Play deals with us, customer service as, at least, deals with us in American Standard Time, Crowdstar, I have discovered, are obviously outsourced customer service, which makes me believe, even though the games that are created by Crowdstar, their local office is located in California, their customer service seems to be outsourced. The reason why I state that is because several times when I asked the lady who I talked to, which only went by the name Cherry, she only contacted me in the wee hours of the night, which is the reason why I'm up right now, because she just now reached out to me at one o'clock in the morning. The last time she reached out to me, it was 430 in the morning, like in American time. Who's up at that time? Because we have lives. Normally we're working. We have something new or we're asleep. So no one's going to be up at 430 in the morning or 130 in the morning waiting on customer service to get back in contact with you. Um, make a long story short, I just got through communicating with her, and pretty much what she told me was the same thing that Google Play told me, which was 
clear data, reset the game, link all the Facebook ties through your browser, through your app, through your game, which some of the things I didn't even understand because I've never even had to go through any of this with any other app, any other game app, none. But with them, it seems like I've went through the most. And even though I did all that at the end of her statement, even though she said as politely as she could, well, if you break any of the links, you just lose your game. Let me tell you something. As a consumer, to hear something like that, to basically say I'm just screwed, and with all the technology for a company who I know is probably making multiple millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, on people like us who play these games, who give our money. These are hard-earned dollars. And Google Play allowed them to pretty much be a ghost and just back away and says, oh, we don't have anything to do with that. That's between you and the game developer. Very disappointing to see Google Play. Google Play, excuse me. I'm a little frustrated. I'm up. I'm tired. You're going to have to excuse me. Um, it's very disappointing as a consumer to hear that Crowdstar is pretty much like the mob. Like they're untouchable. Like Google is scared to deal with them. And it just boggles my brain that even though I've showed Google Play, customer service reps and Crowdstar's customer service rep, Cherry, my receipts for every single purchase I've made with this game, the only thing that I got told was that it's my fault. Like, when I talked to Google Play, they never told me once that if I break the link, that I'll lose the game. Nor is it described in their instructions under their applicate app count. If you go to the app, Design Home, there's nothing in there that warns you and says if you break any link, you're going to lose everything you invested in, every dollar. And I just lost all of mine. And no. I don't think that it's fair, and I don't think that it's right, and I don't think that it's right that Google Play gets to allow Crowdstar to rob people of their money and then say they have no responsibility for it. Even though they state that some of these developers um, we do have to talk to personally, I have dealt with Google Play on many other games that said that same thing, and they have helped me. But for some reason with Crowdstar, they don't want to help me. It's not, you know, it's pretty much off limits, like they're scared of these people. And to allow somebody like that who outsource people to talk with people at wee hours of night where you could barely even catch them. You got to play cat and mouse with Crowdstar to even talk to them. They will not even talk to you directly. They don't even have a direct chat line. They're pretty much just invisible mobsters taking your freaking money and telling you it's your fault. So my thing is, is that I would like people to comment down here. I would like to just go through the reviews, and that's what I intend to do. Go through every single review and find every single person who's have a problem with Crowdstar and have them link up with me and boycott Google Play and Crowdstar to let them know that it is not allowable to steal people's money. You have receipts. All the technology and where all the money you make, you cannot tell me that you cannot track and find where my money went to to see what account it went to so that you can help me and assist me in loading it back up. Because everything they told me to do basically was just a bunch of runaround and rhetoric. And I've yet to really talk to with anybody who really gives a rat's ass about what I lost as far as when it comes to Crowdstar. And as far as I'm concerned, dealing with some lady whose just name is Cherry made me feel like I was just basically being told by a stripper, um, I'm a trick and your money's gone down the pole. That's pretty much how I feel right now. So I'm going to link this page up and anyone else who feels the same way, please do not hesitate to comment under the box of this video. Let's make a movement. I would wish to start a petition against Crowdstar and put an end to their app game since they think that they're untouchable and they don't have to help people and all they can do is just steal people's money. If you've made enough hundreds of millions of dollars to take people's money and then you don't want to help them back, then you just don't, you do not deserve, you do not deserve to do business with us consumers in North America, the United States. Thank you so much for taking this time to watch this video. Please leave a comment below. Have a good evening.